Now, over the past two weeks, there have been a series of break-ins and thefts from multiple small businesses across the city of Wilkes-Barre. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us live in downtown Wilkes-Barre with more on the string of break-ins. Amelia? Nick, Candice, good evening. Yesterday, we showed you video from a break-in at Boozy Bees, a local ice cream store downtown. Today, 2822 News learned that multiple other businesses in Wilkes-Barre City have experienced similar thefts. Small businesses across Wilkes-Barre City are being plagued with theft. On January 27th, the manager of Frank's newsstand, who did not want to appear on camera, told us they got a call about a man breaking into their store and stealing the register drawer, taking $150 with him. Just days later, Franco's in Wilkesbury had a similar experience. They broke into my pizza delivery van. It's a Franco's van that travels around town delivering delicious pizza. The two thieves took catering equipment and tools, costing Franco's more than $1,500 in losses. My reaction is I am very saddened. I mean, uh, this is my hometown. This is where, you know, I've lived my entire life. And to be afraid to be able to leave your property and not know what you're going to come back to the next morning or later on that day or night is, is very heartbreaking. On Tuesday of this week, Axelrad Printing had one of their employees' bikes taken from outside of the business. That bike cost costs more than $2,000 and was the employee's main form of transportation. Uh, I feel violated. I know a lot of my employees feel violated. Um, it's just nerve wracking knowing that like somewhere where you feel like you should be comfortable, you just can't be. And finally, on Wednesday of this week, Boozy Bee's ice cream had their door completely smashed with a brick and someone stole hundreds of dollars from their register. Yeah, it was scary to us. Um, obviously, you know, it's tough losing that money, but honestly, put the money aside. I'm just so thankful that no one was here. My family and I, we weren't here. No one got hurt. And um, I can always, you know, the money is replaceable. Now, the Wilkes-Barre City Police Department says that they are actively investigating each theft or break-in following leads and working to make arrests. They could not comment at this time if any of the break-ins or thefts are connected. Reporting in Wilkes-Barre, Luzerne County, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. All right, the investigation continues mm -hmm. there. Amelia, thanks.